very common. Hello YouTube, this is Shining Gold with Fall 3 walkthrough part 8 and Galaxy News Radio walkthrough part 1 or 2. I mean, I don't know if I should really uh, consider that last part a part, because it was just talking to him about the quest. I mean, we didn't really accept it until the very end, so I don't know. I'll just consider this part 1. It doesn't really matter. Might mess people up, though. It won't. Okay, so, um, my character leveled up here, and please remember that you don't need to clone me, and you'll probably mess up if you do, because God knows I don't always pick the greatest things to choose, like, you know. I mean, at the beginning of the game, I put, like, three for my intelligence, and that's one of the most important parts of... It's, just, it's one of the most important parts of your character. I had to redo the game. I had to reload it. I had to, like... Yeah, pick a new save for my game, which is just insane. You mean, that's a bad thing for a walkthrough to do. I mean, who knows, maybe I have no idea what I'm talking about, but I do know what I'm talking about, because I'm amazing. So yeah. Okay, we need to get out the back door here. Um, actually right now I'm scavenging for parts, and... Yeah, um, if you if you really don't care about, like... If you're not trying to make your character perfect, like, if you're not trying to make your character the saint of the wasteland, then just steal equipment. Because it helps so much. Like, just stealing bullets, I mean, like, it helps so much. It's a good thing. I mean, stealing stim packs, awesome. And I mean, Nothing really happens unless you get caught. I mean, nothing happens unless you get caught. And, I mean, you have to be an idiot to get caught, because it says detected at the top of the screen. So, yeah. Just steal. It's okay. I mean, if you're trying to be a good character, I can see that's fine. I mean, people will respect your character more and crap, but... If you're not trying to be perfect, steal. It's a good way to go. Okay, so wait for the loading screen, and okay, right here, don't jump, and try to jump all the way down. You'll die. Just, um, you know, just kind of walk off onto each sep separate ledge, uh, don't be stupid. Yeah, I mean, just, yeah, it's fine find some feral ghouls right here. Whoa. Awesome. How are the sound effects the most? They're all like... <laughs> yeah, just like that. Yeah. Feral ghouls. Didn't know what they had come to. Okay, that's human flesh. Uh, I just leave that alone. I mean, to repair your, to heal, heal yourself, stim packs work just as much. There's enough stim packs, and to a point where you really don't need to worry about them. I mean, you don't need to worry about eating meat, and eating meat gives you so much radiation in this game. And, I mean, it barely heals you. Like, I once ate my entire inventory of food, like, back when I picked up a lot of it. And it didn't even repair my HP bar by, like, a quarter. It was... And then I died. It didn't help me at all. Just kind of... Just kind of pushing back the inevitable. Stim packs, on the other hand, they're like steroids. Steroids are bad. Stim packs are like. are like. medicine. and food is like. something that isn't. and that is. and that does not really serve a long term effect as much as medicine.
That was an amazing analogy. I should join the writing class. Get an A. Okay, right here is a terminal. Um, I do suggest saving before all terminals because um, they help. I mean, that helps. I mean, if you want, I mean, and you can't fail if you save before because you just reload it, you know? I mean, and I wasn't in, and since I'm doing a walkthrough, I'm not going to reload just one terminal like five times, so. So, uh, I did not do that. I know I sound like the kid off of Two and a Half Men. Shut up about it already. <laughs> I've been told that like five times in like all separate videos. It's hilarious. I don't even sound that much like him. Okay, Super Mutant. Um, this room's full of them. Ooh. Sweet Jesus. Whoa. The guy's going through the door. Yeah. I'm not sure why I shot right there. I mean, I have enough ammo, so I guess it doesn't really make a difference, but still. Bash off. Smack, 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 smack. smack. Yeah. For some reason... If you look, if you go back to my walkthroughs for like Oblivion and stuff, um, I always swing one more time even after my enemies are dead. Just one more time. It's like one extra time. And then I always, I'm, then I'm always fine. It's always once. It's never twice. It's never perfect. It's always one more time. I have no idea. I think it's just, it's kind of coincidental. But yeah. Ooh. And then we are in the sewers. Not sewers. I keep saying sewers. It's tunnels. Jesus. Sledgehammer. There's a raider behind you, buddy. Oh! She shot you. Oh, it's a he. I'm sorry. So, yeah. Tunnels. These these things can be hard to navigate at times, but um, you never can really get lost. There's not usually like big extra spaces. It's usually just like sometimes like a small, you know, detour. But yeah. Why are there so many hunting rifles? I mean. Did all the hunters just like. Were the hunters the only ones who didn't survive? I mean, like. All the hunters died? Hunting rifles? Is that like the most popular gun in the world or something? Because I, I did not know that. Men and ladies, boys and girls, prepare to be astounded, bedazzled, and otherwise stupefied. I'm Three Dog, your master of ceremonies. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, just keep doing this. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm like just rambling on here. My character was scavenging a lot through this week, through this walkthrough, so, yeah. And walk through here, the overly dramatic door. I didn't know that metro stations had doors like that in the 50s. Makes me wish I lived in the 50s. That's a pretty cool freaking door. Okay. <coughs> well, guys, I guess I'll have to see you on the next walkthrough. Bye. Oh, wait. Crap.